Hello friends, this is Mohammad Shakil here again and in this tutorial we will see the different options in the visualization toolbar of the Sketcher Workbench. Lately one of my subscribers have asked me a doubt on uh, visualization and uh, the different tools that we use in that. So let's have a quick look at it. So let's firstly create a part. So let's just go ahead and uh, create a curve, come out of the sketch and make sure that you're in the wireframe and surface design workbench and go, to, go to revolute and select the Z axis for rotation, for revolution I mean, and give 180 degrees each, click on OK and you have the complete surface here. Now let's go ahead and create a plane which is uh, at an angle with respect to the x-axis making an angle of 30 degrees. Click on OK. Now let's go ahead and select that new plane and go for the sketch. In the sketch, as you can see, once you enter the sketch, on the default, you can see the 3D background. So you need to uh, enable the visualization toolbar here. So if it's not enabled in your case, and uh, as you can see, this is a 3D background and you have an option to switch to the no 3D background. So let's just firstly use a 3D background, do a rotation and then use the 3D intersect 3D elements and then select the revolute. Once you click on that you'll be able to see that uh, the intersection of the 3D object is being applied to the 2D sketching plane. Now if you want to have a look, as you can see you're not able to make out what kind of uh, uh, sketch is exactly being uh, created here. So you have an option to move back to the 2D environment and you can see that uh, the 2D is being uh, visible over here. Now let's just switch back to another mode that's the uh, low light mode. In this mode you won't be really able to select any 3D object. You won't be able to select it but you will be able to uh, visualize that particular sketch with respect to the 3D background. So that's the third option, the second option. So these are the three different options which you can see and it's really helpful when you work on larger projects. You also have an option to uh, split the particular 3D object, the 3D background and see how the sketch looks and uh, where it exactly uh, cuts the 3D object. So those are, those are the uh, three different options which my subscriber had uh, requested and I hope you, he enjoyed. Thank you so much and if you have any doubt you can uh, write to me at katia.prorefuser at gmail.com. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you very much.